Hi, Yanayan. Welcome to the GCSE PE option video. I'm just going to go through, obviously, the content, some career paths. Um, if you was to choose GCSE PE and you had it as a qualification um, and what the course includes. Hopefully, loads of you are already thinking about choosing GCSE PE, um, which will be brilliant um, to have a whole new cohort in September. So there's many future pathways and careers that you can go into in the sporting industry if you was to have a sport qualification at GCSE level and then obviously later on at A level level. Um, so you can get into personal training. You can become a sports coach, a chiropractor, a PE teacher like Mr. Shone, modelling so well, um, a sports scientist, a nutritionist, a physiotherapist and a professional sports person. Of course, a lot of these take into account experience um, and you having obviously many other qualifications. But for you to have GCSE PE, it steers you in the right path in order for you to go down these pathways and these careers. So the course overview and the breakdown. So component one is physical factors affecting performance, um, which is a written exam at the end of year 11. It's one hour long. It's out of 60 marks. So component one is very heavy science based um a lot of biology so it's applied anatomy and physiology and it's also a lot to do with physical training so we'll look at the body we'll look at bones we'll look at muscles we'll look at the heart we'll look at lungs um and how our body works and how it moves during physical activity and then physical training we'll look we'll look a little bit more into with regards to warm-ups and cool downs and why they're important for um, physical activity. We'll also look at different training methods, components of fitness, fitness testing, um, all for that component one. Component two is social cultural issues and sports psychology. So this is also another exam that you will sit at the end of year 11. Um, it's also one hour long. It's also made up of 60 marks. So we'll look at social cultural influences in sport, sport psychology, and then health, fitness and well-being. So that whole component makes up of like participation rates and trends that are in sport at the moment, sport psychology, so behaviours, um, performing enhancing drugs, and then health, fitness and well-being will look at different types of lifestyles, diet, hydration and why that is so important for a physical performance. And then component three is performance in physical education. So it's a non-examined assessment. So it's made up of 80 marks and it's made up of 30 marks overall. So you do a performance in three different sports. So it can be two team sports or one individual sport, or it can be one individual sport and one team sport. Com completely up to you. It depends on what your, your sports are and how they fall. And then there's also a there's also a um, coursework element of the course. So the coursework element is 10%. So it's made up of 10% of the course. Um, the coursework is out of 20 marks and is you doing an analysis and an evaluation on your own performance from fitness testing. So key skills for GCSE PE. So you need to have a high standard of PE kit and participation in PE lessons. Of course, we will, we will have practical. Um, so it's important that there's a high standard of kit because if you miss out on practical lessons, then you're missing out on content, you're missing out on learning, you're missing out on developing your skills and your understanding for an option that you chose. A good fitness level, because if you need to perform in three sports, then you need to have a good fitness level to be able to maintain and aim for those high marks. Commitment, you need to be committed to GCSE EPA. You need to do the homework, you need to do the coursework when that comes to it if you need to obviously go away and record yourself in a sport that we cannot do at school you need to be committed to make sure that is done to your best possible standard high levels of performance 
performance and understands it in at least three sports. So that obviously makes a lot of sense because with year 11, in year 11, you've then got to obviously be recorded in three different sports. So for you to have a good understanding in three sports goes hand in hand in you being able to perform and get a high level in those three sports for your overall grade. Clear communication skills, of course, we will be a class. So you will have people in your class that you will work with. You'll have teachers that you will obviously communicate with and work with also. So you need to have clear communication skills in order for your ideas or your thoughts to come across. Teamwork, again, that goes hand in hand. So we're going to be we're going to be in a class all together. We're going to be a team. So it's important that we work well together for you to achieve the best possible grades you can. A good understanding of biology subjects again that goes back to obviously me talking about the course breakdown so component one is very heavy biology based so it is about the bones the muscles the movement that our body allows to happen um the respiratory system the cardiovascular system so it's important that you have a good understanding a good foundation of those topics before we then go into a little bit deeper for those subjects within sport a passion for sport and exercise. If you choose this, op if you choose this as one of your options, it's important that you have a passion for it and that you enjoy it. Because there's no point you choosing an option that you're just going to sit in because you didn't know what, what else to decide to choose. It's important that you have a passion for sport and for exercise because then that will show through your lessons and your practical and your coursework and your exams because you want to be there. And if you want to be there, you'll work hard to achieve the best possible grades you can. Playing a sport for the academy or at, at a club level, so for you that then fits in really well with your good fitness levels. If you're playing, if you're playing for a team at the academy or playing outside of school, your fitness levels are gonna main, they're gonna stay high. They're gonna be maintained throughout the next three, um, two years. And then when it comes to you performing at the end of year eleven, it will be a high level performance, and you'll achieve the best possible grade. And then the ability to follow your own and staff targets, of course. You'll have books, you'll have assessments, you'll have coursework that will be marked. So obviously as teachers, we will obviously give you feedback and set you targets. And it's important that you're able to then follow those targets to improve and develop your learning. OK, so I want you to just pause the video now and I want you to write down as many bone names as you can and their location. So you have the bones in the body on the right hand side. So I want you to try and locate where they are in the human body in two minutes. So pause the video. Okay, here are the answers. I want you to just have a look, see how many you got right. So this is something that we will look at in year 10. So it's location of bones, where they are in the body, the names of the bones, um, Obviously, it's important because then when we talk about certain movements and certain skills in sport, it's important that we can explain what bones are being used and where they are, where they are located in the body. If you have any questions about choosing sport as an option, please ask a member of the PE team. And we are looking forward to having you as our new cohort in September. Thank you.